Hello everybody, welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. My name is Marshall. Today I'm on the hunt for some big bowfin. Don't know if you guys have ever caught bowfin. They're a pretty cool fish. They actually have a sack located inside that allows them to actually breathe air. And that's why they're usually located in some super dingy, dirty, very nasty water because they can survive very well. They have a mouthful of teeth. I think the Georgia records are about 16 or 18 pounds. They get pretty big and I've known some folks that's gotten pretty close to the record, my dad being one of them, but we're actually at a little local park right now. I'm gonna catch a few small bluegill and we're gonna do a little bit of live bait or cut bait. I'm gonna try to attempt to catch them on artificial first, but if all push comes to shove, I'm gonna bring about 10 bluegill just in case and uh, increase my odds just a little bit. So without any further ado, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and catch us a few bluegill and then we'll get down there, hop in the yak and uh, catch some bowfin. See you guys. All right, first things first, I got this old Clover Valley white bread from Dollar General. Probably gonna be not worth a flip, but gonna throw this out, chum some bluegill up. I see about a pound bass right there. Chilling. I know there's a lot more bluegill over this way. Oh yeah, that's where we're gonna be throwing. This right here is actually my son's rod and reel. But what he don't know won't hurt him. So as always, you guys see me do the old bread trick before. We're gonna throw out and got him. First bluegill that fast. Check it out guys. Perfect bait size. Definitely what we want. So we're gonna take him off the hook. Throw that bad boy in the bucket. Let's catch a few more. All right, officially have our bucket full of bluegill. Show them to you guys. We got some red ear in there. We also have a couple of green sunfish and some bluegill. So a few different varieties, all good bait. So we'll see you guys down at the swamps here in just a second. Let's get on some massive bowfin. Well, I was gonna take my nice little gomakatsu box, but I'm probably gonna need this back end of my kayak for my bucket. I wasn't even thinking about it. So get my scissors out, all the things I'm gonna need. Just a couple of baits. All right, guys, we're officially at the location. This little creek right here behind me actually leads to a swamp. It's kind of right out there, but these bowfin love staying in this creek. And before I slide the kayak in, I was just going to get a few casts right along in here because <clears throat> I didn't want to scare any off. And I've, I've seen a lot of them right over here by this log, but they're mainly over here in this bend. So I'm just going to see if I can get lucky and go ahead and catch one. And then we're going to slide the kayak in if I don't have any luck. So let's get to it. All right. Got an old bluegill on. Hopefully you guys don't get too sensitive, but I got an old bluegill on for bait. Hopefully this guy don't get hung up anywhere. That guy darted off like he saw something. Ooh, I see some bubbles right there. Could be a good song. Ooh, I just saw a big one. A big one just bit my, my bluegill. Ooh, he's, he's on, he's on. Got him. what I tell you guys works every time so this is a male bowfin because it's got this little black dot right here and uh, I should have brought some pliers <laughs> some grippers or something to hold this fish but I'm gonna see if I can get a picture with him but not a bad one let me go run and get my measuring board howdy yeah <laughs> male bowfin not a bad one I'm gonna put them on the measuring board. Okay. We're sitting right at 20 inches on this one. Not a big one, but hey, that was literally like two minutes, so I'll take it. All right, let's get a release on this thing and uh, let's get out here and do some more fishing. 
Look at that thing go. <laughs> All right, just hooked the old bucket up. The thing about the low, low about this Bonafide, it's got these clips on both sides. You can basically clip anything. So, here goes my rod. Look pretty much good to slide in. Hop to hop in this bad boy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ooh. See if we can find any big old bowfin. Guys, there is a monster over here. I'm just going to put this right in the middle where he's been sitting. What are those? Whoa! Oh my goodness, guys! Did you just see that carp jump out and almost hit me? That was the craziest thing ever. Oh my goodness. I'm not believing that. I'm literally like... Not believing what I just saw. Alright, I, uh, I just got my net ready. I see two big ones over here. My bluegill is pretty much like dead, but ooh, he just swiped on it immediately. Immediately swiped on it. Oh, pulled it right out of its mouth. It was a big one. All right. The only thing is you see all these stumps. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out of there. Oh my goodness. He bit it immediately. He's a giant. Oh, it popped my line. Oh my goodness. What an absolute tank. Like I threw it in there, immediately attacked it. So I have these four alt gomakatsu hooks. Not gomakatsu. These Guggen Squad hammer hooks. They don't have as big of an offset and these things are pretty thick. So I'm hoping. Also I had a I had a bullet weight on that last one and uh it was making the fish sink so this one's gonna be weightless i'm actually wanting to uh get a little closer before i try that again because the reason that one popped me off is i had to try to pull it through that stuff and i just knew i wasn't really going to be able to do that What the heck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Put it in front of his face and he bit it. Crazy. Like I said, them bowfin guys, they have a mouth flat full of teeth. And I'll catch maybe one or two for every 10 I have bite. These things are ridiculous. I just saw a big one, guys. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, one looking at it. Oh, he just bit it. He just bit it. I think he's on. Got oh, he got off right there. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my gosh. <sighs> These things are so good at coming off the hook. It's ridiculous. 
guys, I see a huge bow fan over here. All right, guys, I'm going to try to ease my way on over here. Just real slow. Nice and steady with the kayak. Oh, there was a, there's one right there. Good one over here, guys. Does he got it? Does he got it? He's chewing on it. Got him. <laughs> One of the longer ones of the day. I'll probably put it on my bump board. This one right here is right at 22 inches. Dang on, boy. A lot of people confuse that with a snakehead. And snakehead are invasive species, and that bowfin right there, not an invasive species. So don't kill them. A lot of people like to kill them. Don't do that. But I got one bluegill left, so maybe we can get another one. I don't know. Let's try it. Mission time may get cut short. Got a lot of rain coming, I believe. Get this thing on the truck. Well, we're currently getting rained out right now and the lightning was getting pretty bad so it was a little unsafe to be out there. So caught two both in, hung a couple of really good giant ones. So let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this type of fishing. I don't normally seek after both in, you know, I'm mainly a bass fisherman, but hey, I'll go after whatever you guys enjoy, honestly. Bass, catfish, bow fin, crappy. Bow fin are pretty fun and they're pretty much found all across the United States. Like I said, native species, not an invasive species. They won't kill bass, so don't kill them. And without any further ado, guys, I got a big trip planned. So those videos should be coming out next. I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.